Alright guys, well yesterday's impromptu Ponga mission was interesting to say the least. Should be fine. Got some antiseptic since that gap has been inside for many a fish. Then we're gonna wrap it up. Follow Mana. Maybe yeah, doing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, Miles is on again. This feels like it looks like a heavier fish. Fast run. In my box. Uh, maybe. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. Bro, I'm oh, so sorry, dude. <laughs> You're okay. Yeah, I'm just focusing on too many things, man. I'm looking up at him and just trying to finish this. A lot going on right now. Yeah, We're definitely having some experiences here. Welcome to the jungle. Yeah, okay, I don't. Let's take your time, man. If neither one case. Yellowfin, yeah, buddy. Patience paid off. Pretty good one, man. So you just take your time. If he, he'll probably make another run when he gets close to the boat. But if not, if you just lift him up pretty close, I'll get him. Sit, sit. It's all right, it's all right. I'm not stuck in the guide. It's alright. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> 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 my, I wave it, my feet slipped all at the same time. That was so funny. Woo! Nice, dude. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. <laughs> On artificial, that's it's sick, so man. Awesome. I guess that's I don't cool. like it. Oh, and we need a tuna. That Morris was like, all I need is tuna for seared tuna, man. Dude, nice man. work, man. Yeah, man. And on that rod, that's a blast. Nice, man. That's sweet. Dude, yeah, man. Easy peasy. Just make sure they don't go. Oh! No, but it's it. It don't come back up. It has to. <laughs> Dude, if that's not like today in a nutshell. Oh, there's some pictures of it. A la verga, en serio. Bro, <laughs> I'll just swim back. <laughs> I just did that. First time I've ever uh, gapped and released a client's fish. That was, uh, I saw that going differently in my head. For sure. It's one of those days, it feels like. <laughs> Can't win for losing. Not our anticipated results. We woke up today really hoping the conditions were gonna allow us to kayak, but it's looking windy, and so rather than wasting time trying to force something, we're just gonna do the pongas again today. We got a plan, we got a new game plan. See if we can get these guys on some epic fish from the pongas today. My nice camera's fogging up. It got wet yesterday in these storms, so uh, it's not gonna be much beautiful footage this morning or today, but should be a good time. Experiences will be had, memories will be made. Let's see if we can get into some fish. We just loaded up two of the pongas. We're last, we're gonna jump in the third ponga. We're gonna head out tomorrow, Wahoo Rock. Pretty legendary spot. Let's see if we can get into some fish of a lifetime. And the cooler, or I'm taking the cooler. Yes, thank you. This is yours? That's fine. Thanks, Steve. Steve. See you later, buddy. Yeah? yeah.
a fish? Yeah. All right, Pio's got a fish. He thinks it's a bait. Bonita. Bonita. Maybe a tuna. Watch your lines, guys. Uh, right. Yellow fin. Oh, yellow fin. Pio, mira. Mejor del mundo. Hey, Gaff, Gaff. Oh, okay. Nice, dude. Pio with another yellow fin on on the bait jig yep dude that's the that's the bait man you might have one too might just be a little smaller this one's not, not huge but oh you got a tail wrap bonita yeah but oh wait no that's yellowfin two yellowfin doubled up <laughs> no. oh you got yours nice Doble. But this one's too late too. I was I wasn't thinking about it. Come on. Ah. Now we're in business. Now ah, we're getting somewhere. Alright, those can be sashimi. See I think handled the, the young ones or the best ones. So eat those raw and then sear the bigger ones. Oh tonight's gonna be good. So basically right now the wind and current are so strong we're having to go up to the rock, make one or two drops, catch a fish, we get blown way off it, and then we gotta reel up, go back, and do it again. So it's a real fast drift, but we're getting fish in the boat. So we'll keep doing it. The wind and current make a little more work, but we're making the best out of it. Now we gotta live and eat out, and we can leave that thing out while we're jigging at the same time. You never know, anything out here in the ocean could hit that from from 50 pound rooster fish to 1,000 pound marlin. We'll see. Who's up? Oh, I'm on. I'm on. Yep. Fish out. You want this one, bud? You want to come get this? Yeah, come on. I can't tell what it is. It's on a bigger jig. Rainbow runner? Nice! Alright brother. Careful, he's under the boat right now, so just don't let the try not to let the line on the bottom of the boat either. So you kinda yeah, hold on to this for right now. So you get oh see that's not good. Hey it came off. It's okay, it's okay. Here, well, let's try to walk him around. Here, actually, let me, let me get it real quick. I really want to keep him off the bottom of the boat. Alright, there you go. Free and clear, buddy. Alright. It does not feel like a tuna to me. I don't know what it is. It's on a bigger jig. You got pretty heavy gear there, so that's all my heavier setups. So. Nailed the jig first drop. Yeah, I'd pump and, and wind like that. There it is. Oh, Jack of all. Good one, though. There you go. Nice, dude. Nicely done. Yeah, I mean, Diablo Amarillo. What? Those? No. We'll let him go. Get you a picture of that. Jacker of all, good one. On the vertical jig. An artificial. Look at that guy. Strong fighters. That's a great one. Out here battling the conditions and uh, getting it done. Getting some results. Ready to go, yeah. So. Nice work, bro. Good job. We'll get more, we'll get more fish. Nice. Exactamente, amigo. Porque eres el fish finder. Well, I was in the middle of trying to show you guys how to, the good, uh, let me, watch me jig. Like really, I don't think you guys, you guys are not doing I think the way that's most effective. You definitely get bit, bit like that, but I'll, I'll show Pio el Capitan, mejor del mundo. Duro. Screaming run, dude, that's the tuna, that's what the tunas do. I love that rod, man, that black hole. I got that from Taco Direct right before we got here. That thing's been, that thing's been getting bit. Great tuna. Yeah, exactly. In the boat. 
Whales? Yeah. Whales? Whale, yeah. I just saw a blow spout. Diana. Oh! Woo! Did you see that? That was insane. Derek, 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 you copy? <laughs> you said you got some tuna in the boat. Yeah, we're coming with the ice. I'm uh, to your west. You see us coming towards you? <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Uh, Dakota said he just saw like a 40 pounder swim right by our boat. Man, they're, they're around here. <laughs> nice. Nice work. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah, tuna, tuna. Yeah. Nice. There it is. There it is. There you go. Nice. That's the money shot. <laughs> nice fish, man. We got a hit on the... <laughs> you almost pulled a rod there, man. Miles on a good fish on the light bait rod. Something bigger. Might be a tuna. Not sure yet. Made a screaming run in the beginning. I mean, 100 yards, I'd say. Smoking run, and now it's it, it ain't done. Miles trying to get some line back. 20 pound test, so we can't horse it. It's staying up top. Creo que a tuna, amigo. Could be a tuna is my guess. If not, it could be a mahi. But I think it would have jumped if it was a mahi. Jack? No. <laughs> Creo que no. Nah, man. This is something good. This is something good. No way it's a bonita. All right, she's right under the boat right now. She's coming up. All right, Miles got it. Yep, tuna, atun. Good, good tuna, bro. I knew it. All right, guys, nice tuna on the bay rig. He's been following this forever. Oh, did not like the boat. Thing took out 100 yards, and he ain't done yet. Just try to, yep, yep, perfect. Just keep doing what you've been doing. Yeah, don't, don't let it slack. It's okay. He's not done, man. Holy shit. What did you say? 22. I think 22. That's a good fish. Just take your time. You're doing everything perfect. So yesterday, I totally goofed. Gapped his yellowfin tuna, the first one of the day, the only one of the day. And we were so busy high five and I screwed it up, dropped it back in the ocean like an idiot. I've never done it before. And I've always said that's like my worst nightmare. And yesterday it happened, so now uh, here's my chance for redemption or my chance to just prove that I'm the biggest klutz in Panama. All right, buddy, here it is, here it is. We got color, color again. She might make another run when she gets up here. Oh, oh yeah, here we go. Beauty, man. A little bit more. Yep. Okay. Yep. 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 Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> she said not yet. Yeah. Yeah. She's getting there. She's getting tired. Here we go. Yes. Oh my God. Nice one. Yeah, buddy. Oh, On the bait rig. Wow. Light line, light rod, light everything. Yeah, that's a great one. It's a battle on that on that tackle. Hard fight. And there were a lot of chances there to screw that up. You did great, bud. Thanks, man. So bleed us out, keep the meat nice and fresh. And your guy didn't screw up his only job this time, so that was pretty dope. That's a great catch on that on that gear. That's sick. Sashimi tonight. Miles from Arizona. Just got it done. Oh, yeah. Nicely right, done. Shit out of yeah, man. That's a battle on that setup. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, dude, that's something pretty good, looks like. Yeah, do you want to go on the other side? Is he pretty down or is he pretty lateral? You don't want the line rubbing against the bottom of the boat, it's the main thing. Yeah, I think I think you're okay. Eric, the whole school's right there. Get the gap just in case. That's okay, I see it. Uh blue fin trevally. Take it? We'll, yeah. yeah. There we go. Beauty, man, hey. 
There you go. Thank you. Hooked it, hooked it yourself on the jig. That's money. Woo, All right, Miles here checking another one off his list with his first bluefin trevally. Was jigging himself. We kind of went over the technique. He adjusted his tactics, and look at that beautiful fish. Woo. They got this crazy electric blue, and the sun hits them right. Same family as like giant trevally, and I think this is the second or third biggest trevally species in the world. Nice one, dude. Great work. Oh, and delicious ceviche. I'm eating that guy for appetizers. All right, guys, well, given the conditions, I'm pretty stoked with how it turned out. We, the mission today was to get some yellowfin tuna while the weather was bad, and we, we got it done. We got probably 10, maybe 12 in the box. But we're out of time, we gotta get back. Uh, tomorrow's gonna be a real early morning, so we're gonna get back at a decent hour today. Eat all this tuna. We're about to have a feast of tuna and some bluefin trevally. Thanks to Miles here and uh, a bunch of the clients got tuna today. You know, a good good day given what we had to put up with. So we're gonna be eating good tonight, but we're gonna head back. It's about a 30, 45 minute ride back. Get back, get cleaned up, get these tuna cleaned up. We'll see you guys at dinner. A fun day. Go waterproofing. Pretty bulletproof. And we're back, get everything consolidated, we're gonna do Another kind of river jump, river run, like we did yesterday. Went relatively smoothly yesterday. Should be fun today. Just get all the gear consolidated so we can kind of get everything out real quick. So this thing's not just getting tossed around in the surf. And then we'll shove them right back out. In and out. All right, gonna put these NRS guide pants into sport mode. It's not fun swimming in pants. Amigos! That was deeper than I thought. <laughs> you got that? That's about the size I got right there. <laughs> <laughs> we all lie about it. Nobody size. cares. I'll vouch for you no matter what. I swear, girl. I seen him do it. I swear, girl. I seen him. All right, so somewhat of a tradition. These two guys got their first yellowfin tuna ever today. We clip some fins, mark their fish, and they're gonna eat the hearts. First, we're gonna take a shot, huh? Yeah. You're gonna take a shot first or you gonna? Yeah, we gotta drown it away. Chase the heart with the shot? Yeah, exactly. You gotta create a sterile environment, so you gotta get all the alcohol. I might take my shot now then. <laughs> hey, cheers. Hey. Good day, cheers. tough conditions, a lot of yellowfin. First yellowfin for these guys. Yeah. Opa! Woo-woo! <laughs> oh, yeah! Oh, wow! No hesitation, I know that's not good. Yeah! <laughs> He's savage! Look at his cup covered in blood! <laughs> 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10 would recommend? Absolutely. Yeah. I'll drink to that. Perfect. <laughs> yes. Alright, we got the man here, Morris Palmer, searing some tuna. This is my favorite cooked fish we eat here, and it's well, I could eat my weight in this every day. And dude, I didn't drop a single gaffed one. I gaffed like six today and didn't, didn't mess any of them up. Didn't embarrass us in any, any manner. I've never there. been more focused in my whole life. I was like, if I mess another one up, Morris might not invite me back. I gotta, <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be eating good. 
tonight. What is it? Tuna two, three, four ways. You're doing tuna every which way. I don't, I don't even know. This is like kind of like a poke bowl, raw tuna with Thai chili garlic. I don't know. We're just serving on crackers. I just know it's gonna be good. All right, guys, for your third course, this is uh, Thai garlic chili tuna with uh, poke raw a bowl of uh, good tasting stuff yeah. that you caught a few hours ago. Sashimi was swimming this afternoon. How's that? Delicious. Like a hundred. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. That's not getting any better. Seared tuna. Seared tuna and wine. Drink it all. Make a little bit of dip, bro. That's it, man. That's good. That's the one. Served by beautiful Biani who cooks our lunches and breakfasts and everything. Gracias, gracias. Hey guys, last night we did the Jameson shot, the luck of the Irish, and finally today we got in some good fish. We have to do another one tonight so that tomorrow is good. Salute guys, sorry. Good day, and here's to tomorrow being even better. Cheers. Good as ever. Camera guy gets the short stick once again. Story of my life, cameraman eats last. There's gonna be nothing left. I'm eating rice and beans. No respect around here, Tom. I get no respect. <laughs> Seared yellowfin tuna, literally as fresh as it could be. It's going to be incredible. Then we got the sides, but who really cares? This fresh fish. Miles, thanks for your contribution today. Got a stud Heck on the XPS jig. Heck yeah. Killed it. And the bluefin trevally. It was a great day. You had a great day. I'm stoked. <laughs> OnlyFans. For uncensored content, please subscribe to my OnlyFans. <laughs> You're going to like it. Right, right, right. Sear tuna, amazing. Well, there it is, guys. Finally had a good day. After yesterday, the weather just being awful and us just putting up with that abuse and a slow bite. Finally today, got to get after some fish. Just wore the tuna out, watching those clients eat their first tuna hearts. Everyone's just laughing, having a good time. Incredible meal. Can't say enough about it. Another great day here at Los Buzos Resort. As always, if you guys wanna come out and do this with me or with Adam, with the guys here at Los Buzos, Derek, Dakota now, come on down, losbuzos.com for more information. It'll tell you everything you need to know to start planning your trip here, from prices to dates to what you catch when, all that stuff, losbuzos.com. Check them out. If you wanna come on my weeks, just ask them, say so. When you start planning your trip, I'd love to have you out here. Join me in the land of giants. We will have a blast. Till next time, guys, thanks so much for coming. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, all that stuff. I'll be back next week. Hope to see you back every week. Till then, I'm worn out. I'm going to bed. Adios. Ciao. See you guys next time.